Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So here we have a problem. Random variables x and y have the joint PMF given below. Uh, Px comma y x comma y is equal to c multiplied by the absolute value of x plus y, and uh, uh, the x uh, takes on values uh, minus two, zero, and two, and y takes on values uh, minus one, zero, and one, and uh, the uh, joint PMF uh, is zero elsewhere. So consider the function w is equal to x plus two y. And we are supposed to find the following. Number one, the constant C here, the probability mass function PW of W, the expected value uh, of W, and probability that W is greater than uh, zero. So uh, before we begin to find out a solution to all these, uh, uh, all these parts of the problem, let us uh, plot uh, this joint PMF. So here we have this y-axis, this is the x-axis, right? This is x-axis, and this is the y-axis here, right? So x, on takes, x takes on values minus 2. Suppose minus 2 is somewhere here. This is minus 2. 0 is here, the origin, right? And uh, 2 is here. So uh, these are the values of x, minus 2, 0, and 2 and uh, y takes on value minus 1 let minus 1 y minus 1 be here somewhere here and y plus 1 somewhere here right so uh, so we can uh, with the help of uh, all these values of x and y we can plot the points uh, corresponding to uh, these values for example at minus 2 x is equal to minus 2 y is equal to minus 1 we have a valid point here where x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to minus 1. Likewise we have x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 0 a point here corresponding to this and we have a point here as well where x is equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 1. Similarly we have a point here where x is equal to 0 y is equal to minus 1 here x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 and here again x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 and similarly here x is equal to y is equal to minus 1 here x is equal to y is equal to 0 and here where x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 so this probability mass function uh, uh, has these nine points three three and three nine points where the value of probability is non-zero. Elsewhere, uh, outside of all these nine points, except for all these nine points, the probability mass function is zero. So, so the value of the probability, for example, at this point, where x is equal to minus two and y is equal to one, is given by this function. So this is, for example, c, and the absolute value of uh, x at this point uh, for example, is uh, the value of x at this point is uh, minus 2 and plus the value of y at this point is 1. So that should be minus 2 plus 1 should be minus 1 and the absolute value is uh, just uh, 1. So it is c here at this point. So for example, the value of the probability at this point is equivalent to this constant c. So similarly, for example, uh, let's consider another point uh, here at this point. Uh, say at this point, uh, the value is again given by this function here. But at this point, value of x is uh, minus 2, right? And uh, y is minus 3. So this is a c multiplied by this, the absolute value of minus 2 and minus 1 right so that should be equal to 3c minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3 but taking the absolute value it comes out to be 3 multiplied by c so the value of the probability at this point is 3c so in a likewise manner we can evaluate the probabilities at all these nine points and when these values are summed together 
the total probability should come out to be 1. So this will answer our part 1. So let's begin now solution to this problem. Right? Part A, the constant C. So uh, when we sum all the points in the probability, uh, for example, x element of sx, y element of sy, and we sum all the probability values, the answer should be 1. Right? So that's what we will do. We will sum all the probability values uh, and then put that equal to 1. So for example, let us uh, begin from this point. Uh, so C, and we have found out this to be equal to uh, C, for example, here, right? So this is C, the first point, then plus, for example, let's move to this point then. Here, uh, this will be C, and multiplied by minus 2, and uh, uh, plus uh, uh, the Y coordinate is 0 here. So this will be minus 2 just, right? And then plus, let's move to this point. We have already evaluated this to be, 3c and then plus let's uh, calculate the value for this point uh, value of uh, x here is uh, uh, 0 and y is 1 so this comes out to be just 1 and multiplied by c this is to be c and then here uh, we have a 0 plus a 0 x is 0 y is 0 multiplied by c this is simply 0 right and then here we have a uh, uh, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 minus 1 so absolute value will be 1 so this will be simply 1 multiplied by c c right and then uh, to this column here so x is equal to 2 so y is equal to 1 so 2 plus 1 this is to be 3c then we have this point here so this is x is equal to 2 y is equal to 0 so this is 2c plus uh, at this point we have x is equal to 2 y is equal to minus 1 so this is uh, simply 1 2 minus 1 1 and c and all these values probability values are summed together should come out to be equal to 1 right so let us now add that all together because this is c uh, this is 2c uh, the absolute value of minus 2 will all come out to be 2 right 2c so 1 plus 2 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 7 8 3 11 and 12 13 and 1 14 so we have 14c is equal to 1 and then c should obviously be equal to 1 over 14 so that uh, that answer the answers the first part of the our problem right so uh, using this constant, we can uh, now write this uh, uh, PMF, the complete PMF along with the constant value to be like this. So this is 1 over 14 x plus y while x is equal to minus 2, 0 and 2 and y is equal to minus 1, 0 and 1 and this is 0 otherwise right so we have our joint PMF function here so let us now begin to uh, solve our second uh, part of this problem the probability mass function PW of W W is uh, a derived random variable which is a function of X and Y and the function is given here W is equal to X plus 2 Y so let us uh, begin to calculate the derived random variable w and its uh, pmf right so this is second part of a problem now the pw of w right and w is equal to x plus 2y so w is uh, actually uh, given by 
uh, by adding all the uh, pairs uh, of uh, this uh, probability mass function uh, which give the same value of uh, uh, w which result in the same value of w according to this relationship so we can write it like uh, this p w of w is given by this summation so where the uh, pair x comma y can take on the value of uh, the probability gx the function gxy results in the same value of w right and p x comma y x comma y here so this is best illustrated by doing uh, the uh, by evaluating the value of w and the probability mass function so for that uh, let us uh, build a table here for example for all the values of x and y all the possible values of x and y as you see from this diagram we have nine possible values right of the pairs of uh, x and y so for example we can have x here right and y here and then uh, uh, we have uh, uh, probability of x comma y x comma y here right and uh, uh, before that let's have w also here oh, sorry let's have w here w will be equal to x uh, w will be equal to x uh, plus 2y according to this relationship and then uh, after w let's have Uh, calculate the corresponding value of the probability here then p x comma y x comma y here then right so let us consider all the possible values of uh, uh, x and y so for example minus 2 let's begin with x is equal to minus 2 right and uh, the value of uh, y uh, from uh, from this point here right so minus 2 and minus 1 here minus 2 and minus 1 then minus 2 and uh, the next value 0 here minus 2 and 0 here right minus 2 and 0 so minus 2 and then 1 right so after minus 2 y takes on value 0 so 0 then minus 1 0 and then 0 here right and 0 and then 1 and then uh, x takes on values 2 and uh, these three values of uh, y again minus 1 2 0 and uh, 1 2 0 and then 2 and one here y takes on one so for all these possible pairs uh, these are nine values uh, one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine values for all these nine values we will calculate the value corresponding value of w right so minus two and uh, uh, this is x is equal to w is equal to x plus two y right so here uh, x is minus two and uh, y is minus one so this is minus two uh, plus 2 into minus 1 so this will be minus 4 here so w is minus 4 here right and uh, uh, y is 0 so this will become 0 so w is equal to x and w is equal to minus 2 here right <laughs> likewise uh, x is equal to minus 2 here and y is equal to 1 right so minus 2 and then plus 2 so w should be 0 here then next x is equal to 0 and y is equal to minus 1 so this will be x is equal to 0 y is equal to minus 1 here so w is minus 2 here next again this is 0 x is equal to 0 y is equal to 0 so w is a 0 here so here x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 so w is 2 here again right uh, not again sorry this is minus 2 here minus 2 here this is 2 for the first time right 
so now x is equal to 2 and uh, y is equal to minus 1 so minus 1 multiplied by 2 will be minus 2 and plus 2 this should be 0 here right and then uh, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 0 so w is uh, 2 now here x is equal to 2 and y is equal to uh, 1 so that should mean that x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 that will be 2 plus 2 is 4 right so these are the possible values of w these are all the possible values of w that w can take on so let us uh, now calculate the corresponding values of uh, the probability here so probability as you know is given by c multiplied by the absolute value of x plus y so uh, c is 1 over 4 uh, 1 over 14 as we have already found out right so let us now put the values of uh, x and y here and then find out the corresponding probability values so minus 2 minus uh, 1 this will be minus 3 but absolute value is 3 so this is 3c here 3c right so uh, minus 2 plus 0 so that should mean 2c here right we can plug in the value of c later on and then uh, minus 2 and plus 1 this should be uh, minus 1 so absolute value is 1 so this simply c and here again we have a minus 1 so it should simply 1 so this is c here again so this is 0 plus 0 is a, uh, a 0 here right and this is a, a 0 plus 1 simply c here and this is a 2 minus 1 simply again uh, this should be uh, a 1 here c and this should be 2 plus 0 2 c and this is uh, 3 c again right so these are the different uh, prob values of the probability remember c is equal to 1 over 14 we already found out so corresponding to these values uh, we can now add all these values for, 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 uh, for which w has the same value for example w has minus 2 here minus 2 here so total probability for w is equal to minus 2 will be 2c plus c that will be 3c right so let us write down the probability values for example for probability of w at minus 4 is given by minus 4 occurs only once so that is um, simply equal to 3c only right similarly probability that w takes on minus 2 uh, let's take this mark so we have evaluated this so minus 2 so uh, uh, minus 2 occurs here and here also so this is 2c plus c so that should be equal to 3c and next probability that w takes on 0 right so 0 is uh, c here once then uh, this is uh, 0 here right and uh, a c here right so uh, c plus c plus 0 that is 2c probability that w takes on we have already evaluated this uh, uh, this 2 now that w takes on 2 is given by it occurs twice once here and once here this is c plus 2c so that should be 3c right and we're left with the only value 4 now probability that w is 4 is uh, given by 3c so c is equal to 1 over 4 so as you see so this is 1 over 14 sorry so this is 3 over 14 3 over 14 this is uh, 2 over 14 which means 1 over 7 this is 3 over 14 this is 3 over 14 so we can summarize this in the form of a joint PMF like this probability that w w is given by uh, it takes on 3 over 14 um, for w is equal to uh, minus 4 right minus 4 
minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 then 2 and 4 right and it takes on 1 over 7 when w is 0 and this is 0 otherwise so this is now the joint probability mass function uh, sorry the probability mass function for derived random variable, variable w which is a function of uh, two random variables x and y so x and y are discrete so w is also discrete here right so next part of the problem the expected value of w so let us uh, uh, part c expected value of uh, w we have already done with part b here right so expected value of uh, w is uh, uh, a summation of uh, of the product uh, w element of s w w multiplied by p w of w right so for all these uh, values uh, uh, this product we need to sum together all the values of w we will to need to multiply the corresponding probability then add them together so for example expected value of uh, w is uh, minus 4 multiplied by 3 over 14 plus minus 2 multiplied by 3 over 14 uh, plus 2 multiplied by 3 over 14 and 4 multiplied by 3 over 14 plus 0 multiplied by 1 over 7 so we can summarize it like this minus 4 and then uh, minus 2 plus 2 plus 4 multiplied by 3 over 14 and then plus uh, w is equal to 0 multiplied by 1 over 7 right so as you can see uh, this cancels out with this with this and this is already 0 so this is 0 basically so we can say that sorry the expected value of uh, w is 0 uh, we are done with the uh, part c also and now the part uh, d probability that w is greater than 0 part d probability that w is greater than 0 so calculate the probability for which uh, uh, w is a 0 we simply uh, need to find out the values of w greater than 0 then add the uh, corresponding probabilities so probability that w is greater than 0 is equal to probability uh, of uh, w at 2 okay uh, we are not supposed to use the probabilities for minus 4 and minus 2 because these are negative values so w2 plus uh, probability of w at uh, 4 so this is at w this is 3 over 14 at 4 also this is 3 over 14 right so this should be 6 over 14 so that is 3 over 7 so probability that uh, probability that w is uh, greater than 0 is uh, 3 over 7 So this concludes our solution to this problem.